Welcome to the 1988 Annual Vintage Day Games. Four days of competitive fun in the sun that packs the campus and drains the classroom. In a moment, we'll show you the action that makes these games great. But first, on the sidelines, last minute rules, details, and strategies are finalized. You gotta make sure you don't stand up in the front. Don't have to stay on your ass. And if, it, if you start getting close to that pit, you know, crawl backwards on top of the person behind you, but don't go into that pit. Chuck Yeager. Chuck Yeager? <laughs> yes, it's a flying frog. First frog to uh, break the sound barrier, as a matter of fact. What's the matter? You guys, we got trouble in the pits, or what's going on here? Yes, uh, yeah, it's real. Our welding's Our welding's right. <laughs> Romeo and Julie. This is Romeo. And you're Julie. And I'm Julie. He hails from Fresno. He's from the backyard. He's a backyard frog. <laughs> Pull back. Pull back. Rock forward. And now here we go. Highlights of Fresno State's physically grueling wide world of unusual sports. Contestants, get on your marks. <laughs> Only the finest flies. Go, you idiot! As soon as you drop them, you can't touch them again. Each time you touch them, it's a five second penalty. I kind of feel sick to my stomach right now, but that's about it, and I kind of feel stupid with this on my nose. We're doing good, we're doing real good. This morning on my team won the dunking contest, we even, um, we even beat the record, we got 27 seconds. And the girls tag award team won too today, and the guys tag award team won today too. But the only reason we lost the coin of papers is because we were just playing We had spirit! According to the Vintage Days Committee meeting, that we had too much spirit. They were mad because we were yelling and they couldn't hear anybody else. That's what we thought spirit was. That's what spirit is. We, we read in the Vintage Press, they were talking about the, the spirit competition and they said that the spirit banner is awarded to the rowdiest, the craziest, and most obnoxious team. We were. So he did really good. I was really happy with him. Okay. He did. He did good for women's, but. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just practice. <laughs> Let me ask you one last question here. You haven't considered giving him a kiss just in case he would turn into a prince, or? Go for it. I try. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work. <laughs> Now he's still a frog. And he's still a frog, but he's still my Romeo. Uh, all in all, the Vintage Day games were a well-deserved break Excuse and much needed breath of life in the school year. But for some of the winners and the losers, the big rush now is to that big finish 
line three weeks down the road called graduation. This is Jim Kirk at Finish Days and at the end of my rope for Sports Vision.